Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. I know, I know, I know. Y'all have been waiting to see the boat. I've been holding out on you. Ooh, we're on the way to the back to go see the boat. Check this out. Look at all of our Sand Hill plums. No, I just did not just come up with the name of those. These are, in fact, Sand Hill plums. Look them up. If you've never tried a Sand Hill plum, let me find a good one. I know, it's very cliche, it's very Sand Hill Flyaway Sand Hill Plums, I know. It's awesome though. Mm, no. So the thing about them, you have to be real choosy because I have ran into, they're really good. They're like tardy and sour. It's like a small peach, uh, but you have to be very careful because they're, I found a lot of worms in them. Yeah, not like every one, oh, there's a good one. Look at that guy. Nice, deep red, just a little soft. Mm, oh, that's a good one right there. So it's just like a... Better not, better not be a... So that is the pit. So just like a cherry, it's got a seed in the middle, which is that. But you eat all of that. Oh. They're really good. I love them. I've been wanting to make like sand hill plum uh, jelly, jar it, and have it in the lodge, but they're tasty. But I know, I've been holding that on the duck boat video. Um, and the reason why is um, I didn't use it for a while, you know, when it was cold. I've had it since, shoot, March or something. But it was too cold to use it. We weren't hunting. And then it got warm, we started camping, in the camper and we started using it as a family and what i mean is we enjoy it so much we started using it as a family and uh just had so much fun on it the first time taking it out so much fun in fact i didn't want to pick up the camera i didn't want to interrupt our time as a family on the old duck slash fishing boat and take away from our precious time that we were having because we have a lot of fun on I had to turn some light on in here. But we've had so much fun, in fact. Uh, you can tell, check it out. <laughs> we still have the roll up mat in here for the kids. Um, fishing poles, all kinds of stuff. But we're gonna walk through it here and I'll give you the rundown. Let me clean it up a little bit. Me and old P Diddy, we are doing a hunt giveaway over on the podcast. And it's not for the guide season. It's for two days for two lucky people. Uh, so we might even draw two winners uh, to come by themselves or you can bring a friend But for two lucky guys to come to the lodge stay two nights in September uh, And we're gonna do a dove slash teal combo hunt for two days. I am giving that away uh, We'll probably actually pick the winner. Oh, it'll probably have to be like August 20th, I would say August 25th uh, to give whoever has enough time to take off work or whatever. If you have not checked out the podcast, it is firing up right now. Just like the channel, the season's coming, the views are coming, they're getting better. Uh, dove season of September 1st, I've been scouting dove and we have a ton around right now and I hope they don't leave. Long story short, uh, podcast is always linked down below at the top of the description. So, first off, this is where we need to start. The motor. I know a lot of you are going, Bobby, you bought a duck boat without a mud motor without a surface drive without a long tail yeah i did certainly did and this is my reason why and i know that this was going to be the main topic at hand with a lot of you going what in the world bobby why would you do that you are a duck hunter we don't have a lot of places here in kansas to be very 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 brutally honest that have um that where you need a mud motor right a lot of the places like if i'm gonna go do a solo hunt or a buddy hunt um so you're probably going to be on a lake or, or something if I'm going to actually have to use the boat. There's really only one place, and that's Cheyenne. Uh, a lot of you know what that is and what, where that is here in Kansas. That's the only place where you need a mud motor. If it's full, like if the water height is really good, uh, I could probably get away with this pretty easily because it will go in a lot of shallow stuff. The only problem is the weed's getting on the prop. you got to clear it out all the time, whereas a mud motor, it rips through that stuff. But... Got that out of the way. I wanted a uh, outboard 
just a four stroke outboard that it, that was new and reliable because honestly this boat already i can guarantee you will be used more for fishing than it is duck hunting by far me and Bodie, me and the family we are on here fishing all the time already you know in the first couple months that we've had it so it is so much fun i know we have not made a video on here but again we just have so much fun as a family i i don't like picking up the camera sometimes and i hope you all understand where i'm coming from with that so i bought this from my buddy nick and he has completely outfitted it check it out we'll turn them on in a little bit but this green light this is the control base it has all your switches um and that's the bilge pump so check these out these are literally laser beams that shoot up into the sky at night like 300 foot 200 foot it is crazy uh what's that one controls okay this one check out front yep that is the big led light bar on the front that is check that out these are the rear floodlights on the back of the boat and then i think it's the green light oh no nope. what's that i don't know all the switches yet especially all the lights what's that one do nothing okay there let's check this one out let's kill that all right check this out wrong one no, all right check this out all right check this out there we go <laughs> it took me three times i don't ever have the lights on I, i've never really used it at night just uh day fishing so check this out the entire interior is lined with green lighting the speakers dudes these are uh kickers marine grade kickers and right under my seat uh -huh, there's a subwoofer underneath here where all the business is um Got a control. Let's see what size end this is. Kicker, can't tell. But nothing special under here. Uh, there's a base knob. You can't see it, but it has a kicker amp, a marine grade amp. I don't know what size wattage that it is, but it's it pushes this thing. Let me turn it on real quick. Actually, I can't turn it on because I'll get demonetized because I'm playing someone else's music. It sucks, doesn't it? I hate that. But, um, absolute beauty, absolute beauty. Uh, let's pull this off real quick. But under this compartment, we have the fuel tank. Um, pretty straightforward. He did put all this foam, so it's like a soft foam decking on here. And one thing about that is um, I can't bow fish. I, I bought a brand new bow fishing rig and I haven't showed you guys that either. It's a bad boy, but I can't really do it out of this boat because if I do, this foam is going to soak up the uh the cart blood and if anybody has been bow fishing before you stink for days it doesn't matter how much you wash your hands it doesn't all right my battery died yeah i was talking about cart fishing but it does have a lowerance um this is an elite 7 ti2 and one thing about it is it does have a uh, sonar side scan down scan uh and then a chart i don't know what that really is i'm not a big fishing guy i don't know these things that well so i don't know what chart is oh it's kind of more of like a i see like a landscape and then it has steer she is pretty integrated i, I like i love the down scan i love the uh, side scan that's awesome me and Bodie have used it already fishing, but uh, this is all of your Bluetooth connections, uh, volume, all that. This is trim, so it's got automatic trim, power trim on it. Uh, you just don't, you have to lift it up and down like a mud motor. This is just to steer, so auto trim. And then storage, which is probably trash, yep. And that's kind of the rundown, really. Um, good old handle to hold on to when you're ripping but we are gonna hunt in this bad boy i can't wait to do my first hunt out of it obviously i know there's gonna be another question that i have to answer no i'm not gonna put a, a duck blind on it i guess if i found one that was really nice and easy to take on and off i would uh but i'm not really like interested in hunting out of it again um, i think it'd be cool to be able to do but Personally, 
hunting out of a boat is so much fun. But personally, I hate hunting out of a boat. It's cramped. You have no room to swing. Um, the boat's rocking. You're off. It's just tough. You can't. You got to keep down a lot. You can't see where birds are coming. So I love using a duck boat to get you out where you need to be, and then you ditch it. You know, 100 yards away or 50 yards back or something. <clears throat> but she is a Havoc 1654. Uh, I love the Havocs. I've always heard really great things about them. And she's a beauty boy. So I mean, I mean, there's not much more to say. Okay, now, yes, yes. If I use it enough and I want to put a blind on it, I will. Right now, I'm not interested in it. We're going to use this on a lot of our big water, um, our big water leases that we have, I should say, or any big water in general that we're going to be guiding on. <clears throat> when we start hunting ducks, um, and geese on water in late January, we have ice everywhere and it gets really dangerous uh, using <clears throat> Drew's little John boat. So this is gonna be a safe option for us to get out there, retrieve the birds that we couldn't you know, get with the dog, pick up decoys that floated away, we got drug out with ice. Um, so it will get used a ton come, come guide season for sure. But no, I did not need this, but I've always wanted it. I've always wanted to be a duck slash fishing boat, and that's it. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yes, I do want to buy a mud motor, not a brand new one, not a really expensive one, and not right now. But eventually, I do want to have the option to throw a mud motor on it. So if, we're, if it's a summertime, I throw that motor on it for fishing. If it's the wintertime, I throw the mud motor on it for hunting. You know what I mean? Yes, that's pretty pricey. Do I need it again? No, so I can't promise that that's going to happen. I bought it for my buddy and I wasn't looking for a boat. I was not looking for a bo boat whatsoever, but Nick was like, man, you've been saying you want another duck boat since you got rid of your last one. I don't want to sell this to anybody I don't know. And if you ever want to sell it, I'm buying it back. He was like, do you want to buy it? And I'm like, yeah, I sure do. So. It was a perfect opportunity to snatch a good boat and it was from a buddy and he, so the price he did me really 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 well on it so i couldn't pass it up but as you can tell i'm starting to clean the area in the morning my buddy brad old bradley you uh you guys probably haven't seen him since honker season last year in, in north dakota august yeah he is uh, gonna help me renovate the top we as you all know we started the duck shack um, we do have availability, um, not much. It's really filling up fast. It is insane the amount of interest that has spiked in the last two to three weeks. Literally right after 4th of July, I say it every single year, that is when all of us duck hunters start getting, start getting antsy. We start thinking about it, we start dragging out the floaters, we start cleaning the decoys, we start loading the trailer, we start scouting for dove, right? It just feels so good it is finally here. Um, it's been a good summer. It's been a hot summer. And this time of year, when August is rolling up and, and September, it's, it's so nice having that anticipation, just knowing that we're almost back to the hunting season. So I want to thank you guys for all of the viewage lately. I'm going to be spitting out videos as much as I can. Good ones that you guys want to see. No, I'm sorry we did not take it out and go hunting or fishing or something today in this, but I wanted to go over it re really well and show you guys. <laughs> Believe me, she's not a cherry, cherry, cherry. Old Nicholas, he's a, he, he was a little hard on her. Nick, you got to get down in the comment section and tell everybody at home what happened here. What did you do? Hit a pylon or something? <laughs> uh, if you want to get entered in the uh, hunt giveaway over at the podcast, go check it out. Um, we have a lot of fun over there. We're going to have a lot of special guests, um, and it's going to be firing up like crazy, um, especially with this giveaway coming. Uh, we got some awesome guests coming in September to come teal hunt with us. No, I'm not running guided teal hunts. I've had a lot of people ask, and I've kicked it around. I've really thought about it, but I want to try it out this year with a giveaway and see how it goes, right? If you guys are interested in booking the lodge or the duck shack, we do have availability left. But I will tell you right now, don't wait because, uh, oh, man, we have went from here to here as far as booking in the last month. It's really picked up. Um, if you're interested, I'm telling you, there's no group limit. We take anybody from two to f 20 people. 
Um, and I always want to remind everyone, the one thing that I appreciate most is everyone wanting to come here, meet me. Um, when I'm talking to all of you guys on the phone, that all of you guys are booking or just, um, you know, asking questions about the hunts or how much they cost or what the package entails. It is amazing what I have built right here. And um, I love my life. I love my day to day. Um, there's good and bad that come and go, but I wouldn't, I would never want to be doing anything else than this right here. Thank you all for always being here and always supporting me. I'm thinking about uploading every day sometimes, especially when the uh, season really is ramping up in, uh, in September and October. Let me know down below if I should do it. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I've learned a lot over the last five years and I think I'm the, I'm the best YouTuber I've ever been this year and I just gotta show you guys and you guys are gonna love it. I got so many awesome ideas, so many new friendships, so many partners uh, that I can't tell you guys about yet, new companies that I'm working with, new products to show you that no one's ever seen anybody. A lot of awesome stuff coming down the pipe, guys. The Sand Hill link uh, where you inquired a book is always linked down below. So is the podcast. Join it. I appreciate you guys for being here. Stay safe out there. And dove season is just around the corner. Back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism.